Hello friends, as we have seen in our earlier videos that a real number k is 0 of a polynomial px if the value of that polynomial for x is equal to k comes out to be 0 that is p of k is equal to 0. Why should we find the 0 of a polynomial? Look at this equation x square plus 7 is equal to 8x. We can also write this as x square minus 8x plus 7 is equal to 0. Taking 8x to the left hand side. Now the left side of this equation is a polynomial. So any value of x that makes the left side is equal to 0 is the 0 of the polynomial as well as the root of this equation, isn't it? But finding 0 of x square minus 8x plus 7 looks a little tough for a polynomial of degree 2, right? So graph can help us in this. Let's see how. Let's take a simple linear polynomial first, say 2x minus 7. This has the maximum exponent of x equal to 1, so it's a linear polynomial. We can represent it as y is equal to 2x minus 7. This way it's in the form y is equal to ax plus b. And we know from our earlier lessons that the graph of y is equal to ax plus b would be a straight line. So we need two points to draw a straight line. Let us take few different values of x and try to find y. So when x equal to 0, we get 2 multiplied by 0 minus 7, which is equal to minus 7. So y is equal to minus 7. And when x equal to 1, we get 2 multiplied by 1 minus 7, which is equal to 2 minus 7, which is minus 5. So y is equal to minus 5. So we have two points now. So let us mark the points x, y as 0 comma minus 7 and 1 comma minus 5 on the graph paper. Let us draw a line between the two points. For the 0 of the polynomial, the value of the polynomial will be 0. That is y is equal to 0. Means that point would be on x-axis. Where does this line intersect the x-axis? Because at that point, y-axis value is 0. So we can see it intersect the x-axis at only one point that is x equal to 3.5. So if we put that value in the equation, we get y is equal to 2 into 3.5 minus 7. And 2 into 3.5 is 7, so it becomes 7 minus 7 which is equal to 0. So for x equal to 3.5, y becomes equal to 0. So this value is a 0 of the polynomial. So finding the 0 of linear polynomial is easy. This line meets the x-axis at only one point on the graph. And in this example, it was x equal to 3.5. So remember, there is only one 0 of a linear polynomial. We will learn about finding the 0 of a quadratic polynomial, that is degree 2, and a cubic polynomial, that is degree 3, in the next videos. Till then, bye-bye.